Welcome to this month's uh, communications video. We're always glad to have you tune in to uh, this program and, and see what's going on within the Gravit School District. Uh, today I would like to introduce to you many of our administrators in the district and kind of have them share a little bit about some of the programs and things that are going on in their building and maybe a little bit about themselves. Again, this is the September issue of the communications video, as well as there'll be uh, other videos coming out through, through the year. Uh, there are also other information videos that you will be able to catch on our website, and we'll hope you tune into those as well. First, I'd like to introduce to you Mr. Zane Vanderpool. Mr. Vanderpool is our principal at uh, Glen Duffy Elementary School. Many of you know that uh, Glen Duffy is our pre-K, kindergarten, first grade, and second grade students that are attending there. So, Mr. Vanderpool, glad to have you here this morning. Welcome to our communications video. Would you share with us a little bit about yourself and a little bit about Glenn Duffy and maybe some highlights of the year, things that you're looking forward to this year? Thank you, Dr. Page. I appreciate the introduction. Hello, Glenn Duffy Elementary. Hello, public. I'd like to say thank you, of course, for being the, the for allowing me to be principal at Glenn Duffy Elementary again this year. It's one of the greatest pleasures of my career. Um, this is my 13th year here in Glen, Glen Duffy Elementary and, and 22nd altogether. Um, some of the things that we're looking forward to this year are um, implementation of our new mission. One of the things that we were able to do as we started the school year is to meet in stakeholder groups and work with teachers and, and gain even student voice for, uh, for redeveloping our mission and, and goals for the school year. And so we'll be looking for information about that on our website as we're updating that continuously. I would also like to mention that uh, we are currently um, initiating um, new work with um, RISE. RISE Arkansas is an initiative to help our students and staff um, do better at uh, reading across the grade levels. And uh, we're working with our parents and looking forward to all of that we can do to support reading at home, even, um, even such that we are um, is initiating a, a new program for reading to kids once a week on our Facebook. So we'll be looking for that every Wednesday evening as part of our uh, new parent and community engagement opportunities with um, Lion Tales. Next we have Dr. Mandy Barrett. Dr. Barrett has been with our district now I believe for about five years. Is that right Dr. Barrett? Six. Six years. Well it's gone by fast hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Uh, Dr. Barrett uh, has been working or works with our Gravit Upper Elementary students in grades three, four, and five, has done an outstanding job. Many of our parents know her uh, because of the relationship that she has with our students. Many of our staff know her from her strengths working with Solution Tree, uh, being a model school. Gravit Upper Elementary is a model school for our professional learning communities. Uh, as well as her staff development that she does through Solution Tree and she does for our district. So we're real proud to have Dr. Barrett with us in our school district and the work that she does and the knowledge and again skills that she brings to our school district are just a, a, great, a great asset to us. So at this time I'd like to introduce Dr. Mandy Barrett and Dr. Barrett share with us a little bit about Gravit Upper Elementary School. Thank you, Dr. Page. It is an honor to be the principal at Gravit Upper Elementary. Um, it's gonna be an amazing year. We've already gotten started on collecting our data to begin the school year. Um, we will be starting what we call our win time very soon, what I need. So that focuses in on interventions for areas that the children are needing more help with and also an enrichment time for the children who already have what they need and we're going to extend that education. Um, some of those that we do are the Lion Pride News, robotics, um, Mrs. Galloway does an amazing job with ukuleles, so we're always very excited to get that time started and the children have been asking about it and of course the teachers are ready to get it started too. So we're looking forward to another amazing year where we hope to watch um, the data continue to grow and watch our children grow and learn with our educators. So I appreciate this time and parents reach out if you have any needs or any thoughts and ideas to share with us. We'd love to hear them. Just remember we are united in all that we do. United we learn, lead, and succeed is our statement that the children carry and the teachers as well. So I'm looking forward to another great year. Next we have Ms. Kelly Hankins. Mrs. Hankins is the principal at Gravit Middle School. Mrs. Hankins is new to our school district this year. She's actually a native of Gravit, graduated from Gravit High School. 
There's also been a, a, a person in the co-op working with our teachers and our staff and doing professional development training for students or staff members all over the Northwest Arkansas area. So we're very proud to have her here, her knowledge and her uh, what she her skills that she brings to the graduate school district are going to be great. So we're glad to have Ms. Hankins here as well. Mrs. Hankins, again, tell us a little bit about yourself and what uh, what you're going to do in this year and what Gravit Middle School has uh, the, the programs that you're going to do for us this year. Thank you, Dr. Page. It is an honor to be at Gravit Middle School, um, back to my old stomping grounds, and I am enjoying the, all the staff and the students. I'm super excited to say that we are up um, our enrollment in the middle school this year by about 30 students. We're super excited that um, we have been able to start a robotics program in the middle school, and we've also brought Lion Pride News up from the upper elementary, and we will start recording that very soon. Uh, next, we have a new staff member in our district, Mrs. Rebecca Sears. Mrs. Sears comes to us actually all the way back from Nixa, Missouri, but uh, where she graduated from high school in Nixa and, and, uh, and also spent some years in Neosho, my uh, old stomping grounds in southwest Missouri before coming to Gravit. Mrs. Sears is, uh, has been serving uh, in Missouri as a, an assistant superintendent of curriculum and instruction and is coming to Gravit as in that same capacity, working with our staff again in federal programs, working with curriculum, uh, creating the curriculum alignment and doing a lot of things with our working, making sure our students are getting the information they need to have and targeting that instruction to where it needs to be focused on making sure our, our assessments are being uh, uh, done correctly and working with our staff to, to make sure the students are getting the assessment information. So at this time, I'd like to introduce to you Mrs. Rebecca Sears, who is the Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction. Thank you, Dr. Page. I'm very excited to join the Gravit team and be a part of the Gravit community. I am excited to be in the role of curriculum and instruction. That is what my background is in. I served as the assistant superintendent of curriculum and instruction in Neosho. And like I said, I'm very excited to be a part of the Gravit team and serve in that role here. Um, some of the things that we have been working on are within federal programs. We are hiring a migrant um, and ESL tutor to help serve our students that are learning the English language or that are migrant students. So, so in September, I will be sharing the report to the public and we will be talking about um, some of the data that's come out from our state testing at the end of in the spring um, and going over some of the goals for the schools and what we're focusing on coming up in the future in curriculum and instruction. Thank you, Mrs. Sears, for sharing about the uh, Office of the Assistant Superintendent of Curriculum Instruction. I'd like to introduce to you now uh, Mrs. Shannon Mitchell. Mrs. Mitchell has now served as working on her second year as the principal here at Gravit High School. She has been in our district for 23 years, I believe, 24 maybe in the district, or a total, but yes, 23 sir. in the district. So Mrs. Mitchell has been and knows Gravit well. She's a native also of Gravit, graduated from Gravit High School, and uh, is where she's just done a great job. But we're, last year's test scores, one of the things I hope that she'll mention is we're real proud of last year's uh, test scores on the ACT Aspire, one of the highest in the area and some great success with that from last year's uh, teachers and students. And so, anyway, it's a real pr uh, pleasure to introduce to you Mrs. Shannon Mitchell, the principal at Gravit High School. Thank you, Dr. Page. Um, yes, this is my second year as the high school principal. Excited to start a new year. We've had a busy summer. There's been a lot of construction going on here at our campus as well as the other campuses. Here at the high school, um, we're constructing a new gymnasium, which will have a seating capacity of almost 2,000. Um, on the other campus where the other schools are located, we have finishing stages of the Western Benton County Career Center. Um, we've added automotive. Those classes started yesterday. Welding and automotive. Um, welding's full. Automotive's close to full. So we're really excited to see those programs kicking off. As far as test scores, um, staff and students did an amazing job. Targeted interventions help students work on you know, areas of deficits and we've seen a rise in scores and excited to see the state report come out for our school this fall. Thank you, Mrs. Mitchell, for sharing about the Gravit High School. You have a partner at the Gravit High School that works with you in the administration office, uh, the assistant principal, Mr. Taos Jones. Mr. Jo uh, Jones has been in the district now for 14 years, or is it 13? 13. 13 years in the Gravit School District, 14 years total. 
uh, was a physics teacher, now is the assistant principal at the high school, gone, uh, dealing with a lot of the disciplinary issues, the safety issues, uh, lots of changes in law this year that uh, may affect some of the discipline infractions and the consequences the students may be facing. But you'll probably see him about and around and about in a lot of our activities and games and events throughout the year. And so it's a pleasure to introduce to you uh, Mr. Taos Jones, the assistant principal of Gravit High School. Hey, I appreciate the uh, introduction there, Dr. Page. A um, couple of things that we're looking at this year uh, from my office uh, is my role as the uh, uh, district chair of the safety committee is uh, we've hired an additional SRO to cover um, the middle school campus and I think one of our, our other SROs is covering the elementary campuses. Um, we've also added a few uh, other safety things to the district that are that are really going to improve the safety in the district. I'm really excited to see that. Um, as far as the high school goes, everything in the handbook is pretty pretty normal. We've uh, changed the way that we do it in detention at the high school a little bit, but uh, other than that, we, we're just on course for another great year. So I'm looking forward to uh, to working for another year under Miss Mitchell here and uh, and another great year with the kids. We'll be seeing you around at all the events and the activities throughout the district, and it's getting it's picking up a little bit now, isn't it? With all the things uh, coming on every night or every two or three nights a week, it seems like that it is. Um, as, as we move a little bit further into the first part of the year, the, the activities are, are taken off. So as soon as football season gets here, it's going to be uh, it's going to be crazy around here. So I'll be out there. Very good. Thank you, sir. Again, I want to say thanks to, to all of you for watching this video and getting to know who our administrators are. Uh, we're very proud of this, the work that's going on and our students were very blessed and gravid to have some of the best students and the best parents in the, in, the, in the state of Arkansas and in the country if you ask me. But again, thanks for coming in, sharing, being a part of this and we hope that you'll uh, come back and watch some of the videos in the next few months coming up and we hope all of you have a great school year this year. Thank you and have a good day.